Hello and welcome to Automation Platform Next. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use symbols and objects to create an animated industrial process on screen showing liquid being pumped in and out of a tank through a pipeline controlled by selectors and meters. I have already created another project called My Project 1 with two tags and will now create a new screen, therefore select the screen resource and click Screens at the top and then select Screen Type and Color and then click OK. As you can see, the new screen automatically opens within the workspace and is listed as Screen 1 under the Screen Resource. Now we shall proceed in creating our graphic animations. Therefore, open the Symbol Gallery on the left. And as you can see, there is a great selection of symbol types to choose from. Scroll down and select the Pumps Library. And then select the Digital Card. As you can see, there is a great variety of pumps of different shapes and sizes for different kinds of processes that have been pre-configured with animations. For our purposes, I will select a liquid ring compressor pump and drag and drop it on screen at the bottom and then resize it to make it slightly bigger. Now we go back to the symbol gallery and open the tank selection. This time I need an analog tank, so I will select and drop the first tank onto the screen at the top left like this. I shall then drag its borders to make it bigger and place it a bit further up to the top left. Now I will open the toolbox and go to the drawings section, select the pipeline and drag and drop it on screen like this on the first point to draw the line to the tank and then the second point to straighten the line directly underneath like this. Click on the Layout Ribbon tab at the top and then select Set Grid and Snap Grid to help us align the pump with the symbols. OK, con continue drawing the pipeline like this so that it runs from the tank into the pump and out towards the far right. So click on the third point to extend it towards the pump like this and then on the fourth let's straighten up a little then click on the fifth to extend it over to the far right now click to add another point and then drag it opposite the tube going into the pump and then again click to add another point so it goes directly into a pump like this. Let's just straighten up better, like so. Now we shall configure the pipe's properties. So click on the Properties tag to open the pipeline properties and extend the window to get a bit of view, like this. Go to the Star properties and set the stroke thickness to 20 to make the pipe look wider. Click within the screen to close the property window then click to select the pipe and then click on snap grid and move last commands at the top to render the pipe connection between the tank and pump with the 3D real life effect as always don't forget to save now let's open the toolbox and open the buttons and switches selection and take out a two position selector like this one and drag and drop it on screen next to the pump and enlargen it a bit. Let's go back to the toolbox and open the analog commands selection and select a potential meter graduated knob like this one and drop it at the far bottom left and resize it like this. We will return to the toolbox the last nut time and open the analog display selection. Go to the gauges and select a circular gauge like this one. Place it and size it on screen at the far right. 
and put it at the end of the pipe like this. Open the Gauges Properties window. Click the drawing pin so it stays open and move the screen over to the left so we can see the gauge while configuring it. We shall set the gauge's base style by clicking on the left to open a menu with the different style types and select carbon. Leave the marker red as red. Click on the edit box on the left of the arch scale colour and select the radar brushes tab and select yellow and click OK to apply it to the gauge. Click within the area of the screen to close the style properties and once again let's click save to to save our work. Center the screen within the workspace and close the property window altogether. Open the IO data server resource, open the tag list I created beforehand and click and drag tag 1 onto the pump. Select it again but this time drag and drop it onto the selector switch. Now select tag 2 and drop on it onto the tank and then select it tag 2 again and drop it onto the knob and do the same for the meter. What After we have done this click on the pipe again and open the animation e explorer window at the bottom left. OK, select the border colour to open the border colour animation property window on the right and change an alt values colour by clicking on the far right to open a palette and then select grey. Click add then select another colour for value 1 in the same way. Scroll down to the animation tag property and click to open the browse window to select tag 1 and then click OK. Click on the screen to close the Animation Explorer and Property Windows. Then click to save. Click on the My Project 1 resource in the Project Explorer window and open its Property Windows on the right. Open the Execution Properties and set Startup Page Type as Main Screen. Go to the screen resource and rename screen 1 as main screen, like this. Save project and launch project by clicking on the start runtime icon. Click yes to confirm project save to automatically start up the IO data server and launch project into runtime shown the main page. When I click to move the switch to 1, the pump turns on and off when I move it back to the 0. Turn it on again and then click on the meter and turn the knob around. As you can see, the tank fills up with liquid and empties accordingly. Turn the pump off, press Alt and F4 keyboard combo keys to exit from runtime and return to development mode. Thank you for watching.